Hey guys, Hilton here with Yellow Sky Actions, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial, a video tutorial on how to get that um, transform an image into making it um, look like it's in the golden age. So we're going to go for that golden age, 1950s glam effect, and so we're going to be doing this in Photoshop CS3 through CS5 um, using our big bundle set. Here's the before, and this is what we're going for the after. So as you can see, it's 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 glam, it's it's vibrant, it's soft. Um, and that's what we're going for. So before and then the after. Huge difference. So let's get to it guys. Okay. The first action we're gonna run is an action in the color set called Vintage Instant Photo. So we're gonna double click it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this action's opacity down to 75%. Then we're going to go inside this action, we're going to tweak it up a little bit. First layer in the action, Pink Posy. We're going to highlight that and we're going to switch this to Overlay. And then the next step we're going to do is we're going to go to Peach Dreams and we're going to switch the blending mode from soft light to color burned. We're going to drop this down to 40 percent. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on the mask in Peach Dreams and we're going to go in and all we're going to do is we're going to wipe it off the eye. And the reason why we're going to do that is because the eye is that focal point and that's where you know that's where you want your viewers eye to go is that focal point which is the darkest darks with the lightest lights um, so foreground white layer mask foreground black brush 40 to 50 percent and we're just going to take it off all right Okay, perfect. Okay, so the next step we're going to do is you're gonna run, we're gonna um, we're gonna run an action called Control That Pop, which is in the Essential Set. Double click it. Takes a few seconds to load. Black uh, mask white foreground brush and what we're going to do is we're going to use this this action to brush over her hair to really give it that glow because um, if you notice in those 1950s uh, glam shots of the beautiful actresses uh, like Marilyn Monroe and um, you know and, and other and other actresses uh, but Marilyn Monroe just you know comes to mind because this girl's got blonde curly hair and um, and what it will do is they usually have that that glow around the hair, the blonde hair. So that's what we're going for. So we're going to paint on control that pop at 30% brush opacity. And immediately you see that glow that we're going for. And it does make it more of a vibrant and that's what we're going for. I'm gonna I'm gonna just take it off just a little bit. Keep it on the edges because we want that glow around the edges. It's perfect. Okay. Um, and you know we can also I'm gonna drop it even more the brush opacity and just brush over the face just to kind of give it that pop that we want. All right. Next step, Daydreamer. Um, it's in our smoke and effect set and it'll give it that soft touch that we're looking for. So we're gonna run that, it takes a few seconds to load. Or a few minutes. <laughs> okay, perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop Daydreamer down to 70%. And all we're going to do is we're going to wipe it off her face and a little bit off of her body. So 
white mask, black foreground. We're going to wipe it off at around mm, 30, 35, 40 percent. And, and it was good because the Daydreamer is good for the hair, really lightens the hair up, gives it that glow that we want. But we're going to brush it off the body just a tad. That's good, right there. Okay, so once we're, once we're done with that, we're going to flatten the layer, the layers. And we are going to run an action. And I'm sure you guys have heard of Complexion Perfection. Yes, Complexion Perfection. We're running Complexion Perfection um, for her skin. Because as you can see, she's got, um, you know, it's she's got lines. And, and um, who doesn't have lines? I mean, uh, but we're going to get rid of all that and, and, and oiliness and stuff. So that's what Complexion Perfection does, guys. It gets rid of all the blemishes. Um, so we're going to run that. And this should take a few minutes to load. Yes, this action is definitely, it's very uh, complex. <laughs> it's got a lot of layers. Um, and you know, when I run Complexion Perfection, the reason why I flatten the layer, uh, the layers before is that I really like to run Complexion Perfection on its own because I feel like it definitely, actually I know, it definitely runs smoother and more efficient when it's on its own versus with other actions. And it's the only action in this set that does that. So just to give you guys a heads up, whenever you run the Complexion Perfection, um, run it on its own. A few more seconds, guys. Okay. All right. Black Mask white foreground and all we're going to do is we're going to brush it on her face at 100% opacity And there's a huge change, and I'm gonna go in. And I'm gonna make even a, a bigger, a bigger um, change in a second. I'm gonna show you guys. But I'm gonna brush over her nose, get rid of these pores. Even in here, I'm gonna keep this dimple in here because I think it shows a lot of character. I like to keep those lines. Um, Make sure you don't get inside the eye. You want to keep those lines, those, those details. All right. So the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to go inside of this complexion perfection action. And you see two options. You see texture and you see smooth. And the texture action, and we'll talk about this in later tutorials, it's for, you know, sometimes with a complexion perfection you can gauge it and you can really smooth out skin um, to a point where it takes away detail and that's what the texture action is for and I'll talk about that where you can bring back the the detail in someone's face or whatever you're trying to smooth so we're gonna go into the smoothing um, layer right now and there, there's a surface blur a median blur and a Gaussian blur and we're gonna just gonna bump up every single um, blur from 50 percent up to 100 and just while I'm doing this, look at her face. Watch it change and become even more smoother. Medium blur. Gaussian blur. I mean, huge difference. Again, here's the before the complexion and the after. I mean, it's, it's like night, night and day. Booyah. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to run um, the rest of this 
um, action on her arms, just to soften it, just to touch, even the rest of her body um, at a lower opacity. Because I want to give it that soft feel, you know, that 1950s film. Um, I don't even know it's a film feel. I think it's just the way they 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 uh, post process their their work back then. But we're gonna definitely give it a soft feel. All right, that's complexion perfection. So we're gonna flatten that because I told you once I mentioned before I like to run that action on its own. I don't like to run even actions after that action because I feel like it affects it. So that's a loner. That's a lone ranger. Lone ranger, right there. So we're gonna flatten it. Take a few seconds to flatten. And then the fifth action we're going to run is an action called Soft Brush. And remember, black mask, white foreground, brush. We're going to drop this uh, brush opacity to 10%. And we're just going to brush it over the whole photo to give it that, you know, even more of a soft effect that we're going for, that glow. I want to brush it over every everywhere except her face. I want to keep that. I want to keep. I feel like the complexion perfection really smoothed out everything. But I just want to keep those fine lines. You know, um, I want those to show. You know, see that? All right. And you can see inside this mask right here, this black mask. The white is what I'm brushing on. There it is right there. Okay, next step, we're going to go to Sharpshooter, which is a sharp brush. It's in the Essential Set. Double click it. This takes a, um, a minute to load. And for you guys, all you viewers out there, these videos are pretty long um, because I, I'm showing you multiple actions and it takes, you know, it takes time for these actions to load. So, Back to the uh, back to the the glam 1950s look. Here we go. Black mask, white foreground brush. Um, we're gonna brush it with the brush opacity at 25%, and we're gonna just do it over her eyes and her lips. That's the only part of the photo we want sharp. 25% brush, as we mentioned before. See those lips pop? Those lips starting to come out. Let me bring it down just a tad. Okay. All right. Next thing. See these reds right here? And I noticed this in a lot of the 50s, and that's why I got her to lay on this booth, this red maroonish uh, booth seat. Um, they used a lot of red back then in, in a lot of their 50s glam photos. So I want these this red to really pop. So I'm going to run an action um, called Crack Boom Pal. And before I tell you guys, before I run it, I'm going to invert it. And what I mean by invert it, I'm going to invert it to a, um, a brush action. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So here we go. We're going to run it. it takes a few seconds to load. All right. Okay, invert. Either Command I, Command I if you're on a Mac, or if you're on a PC, Image, um, Adjustments, Invert. That's Image Adjustments Invert. Invert. Okay. You see how that mask went from white to black? That means that whenever it goes to black, that means it's inverted, and you brush on the action. So when this is black, remember guys, the foreground's white. Select the brush, and you can whenever the mask is black, you can 
only paint with a white foreground and you could take it back off with a black foreground and it's the exact opposite when the mask is white the foreground's black and you can you know vice versa so all right so what we're going to do with this we're going to increase these reds so we're the we're going to have the brush the brush opacity is going to be set I would say at around 30 40 percent I'm gonna take it to 40 um, and we're just gonna really increase these reds and you see how they're all right then we're gonna go back here we're gonna drop the brush size of the brush increase the reds make them pop Oops. All right. So that's it, guys. Um, you also one more thing I forgot to mention. You can run dodge it, burn it. I I was gonna say dodge it and really brighten these, uh, brighten the red up. But actually, you know, I think it looks pretty good. It looks right on. It's the, it's the uh, the vibrant red that I'm looking for. So um, let's just uh, dot. We're running Dodger right now. We got it on the Dodge it. Click the 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 mask white foreground. We're gonna brush it on. Let's say 10%, 15% is ideal, and we're just gonna lighten this up just a tad. So there's it. That's it, guys. There you have it. Um, here's the before, and then the after. Bam. I mean, huge difference, 1950s, glamour, um, blonde bombshell, if you want to call it. Um, so I hope this helps, guys. I know it's a drawn-out video, but I want to explain every little detail so all you awesome photographers out there can really um, get a better feel with our actions and how they work and how you can really go in and tweak them to make them your own. And I'll be posting uh, new vo uh, videos for you guys, many, many more. Um, so if you have any questions, if you have any, um, you know, uh, you, you have any videos that you want us to show you, uh, let us know. You guys have a great day and, um, talk to you soon.